This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. my position for quite some time now that if there was one guitar that I would never sell it's this the uh, ice blue K-Line Springfield um, and I think that's still the case however I have had it in its case in the cupboard for a little while the intro there uh, by the way at the moment um, LED has this light that plays music throughout the entire night so I was uh, laying awake sort of thinking of uh, possible reharmonizations for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, uh, sort of in the style of Jack Gardner, but slower. Um, anyway, so uh, sorry for inflicting that on you. But, right, so the story goes something like in September of 2018, this was a time when I was kind of looking around for something kind of Fender Custom Shop-ish. At the time, I was playing my own uh, kind of parts casters that I put together. There's the telly and also the uh, the strap um, and yeah th this came up on a forum uh, the fretboard forum in the UK if you're watching anyone there sorry and um, it was listed at like 850 pounds I think and I kind of looked at it and kind of looked up what people said about canine guitars and because of the headstock um, I sort of passed on it and thought mm, you know what I don't really love the way it looks 
and I didn't really love the kind of vintage tint of the, the neck. Uh, so I almost didn't buy this guitar. And then I looked at it again and I thought, right, for this money, you know, I think at that time a Fender Custom Shop would have probably been about around £1,800 a used one. And I thought this 850 odd, uh, you know, I'll give it a go. And so I think this is probably one of the cheaper K-Lines that has been sold on the used market. Of course, now you'd be likely to pay uh, another £1,000 on top of that, probably. Um, Chris, over in uh, Missouri, I've, I've you know since got to chat with him a, a tiny bit, and um, he sent me some other guitars, and we you know, worked out he's given me a discount on some things. But uh, mainly, I bought my K-Lines used, uh, so I bought the yellow one, which is actually, so I put this back in the cupboard because I feel like um, it would be really easy for this just to be the guitar that I pick up all the time. But there are some kind of downsides to that. Uh, you know, gradually your frets get worn down. I've already had the frets um, worked on by Monty's one time. Um, and, you know, there's a, a finite amount of how much that can be done. And, yeah. The, the other kind of downsides is that I guess for, for you as a viewer, it might be kind of boring. I'd, I'd like to know your thoughts on that because I went to see Jonathan Kreisberg this year with Jake in, in London and he was talking about uh, potentially buying another guitar. He'd borrowed, well, as he'd flown over, someone had brought one over from Ireland same year as his ES-175 that he plays. And I kind of thought that would be, to me, a little bit sad to see Kreisberg playing another guitar other than his main thing. I don't know if you feel the same, but in any case, the idea of there being like a number one guitar that someone plays, you're most used to seeing them play. For, for me, the Mark Terry with his Grosh is still looms large in my head when I think of Terry's playing the first times that I saw him playing like his Don Grosh, similar to a K-Line in, in some ways. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I, I put it away just because in some ways it's a bit like, right, I want to, you know, get to know my other guitars a bit better maybe. Um, but this still remains the thing that I don't think I'll ever sell. And yeah, it's, it sits in the cupboard ready for uh, a reunion at, at various points. Um, I think Philip Sace also retired a guitar. Obviously, he's got guitars that are much more uh valuable than, than these um but yeah i don't know what do you do with the guitar at that point and just play it on special occasions but yeah I, i'm not retiring this i just want it to be um preserved for a bit longer so i don't have to go and get a fret job on it or anything like that for a while um if you want to know the specs on it uh it's got a 10 inch radius with 1650 um frets uh it's got a lot of dirty blondes in it which I don't think they make that set anymore. I guess if you email them, they probably do. But uh, it's two blondes and a special in the bridge, I believe, which is a bit hotter, um, just to, to balance the pickups a bit. Uh, it's Wilkinson hardware, uh, really stable trim. And that's about all there is to it, a medium C neck, which feels pretty comfortable to me, uh, kind of perfect to me as well. Um, but the yellow strat I've actually started to really, really appreciate as well. That has... Monty's uh, pickups in it, um, retro wine 60s pickups or something like that. Um, otherwise, the specs are identical, but there's less kind of wear on the back of the neck. Um, this one has kind of started to, to go the lacquer a bit. And that is, I think, actually where you start to really see the benefit of playing these guitars a lot. Like the neck, if, if it's a nitro finish, uh, you start to get these spots where it's worn away. And there, I feel like you have an amazing kind of, um, I don't know, it just feels great in the hand. Um, tonally, I don't know if there's there's a huge lot in it. So I've played a couple of um, vintage examples. I've played Mix, uh, 60s Strat. I've also played a 70s Strat, and I played Phil from Up The Road. He had a 64 Strat. Uh, I wouldn't swap any of them for this, and, uh, I guess that's not on the cards anyway, but yeah, I think it's nice to have a guitar that really did shut off the, the gas thing. Like I don't lust after strats at all really now. I feel like if I've wanted an ideal strat, I've got one 
sat in the cupboard and I've got a bunch of other ones that can do the job really well as well, like the yellow K-line, the gold K-line, the white K-line. Um, so yeah, the, the search for strats really did kind of finish here. I did buy a um, custom shop Fiesta Red, which quickly I thought, actually, this is way better for me. Uh, let me know if you fans strat are your dreams. Um, is that a thing? Uh, and also let me know if, if you've ever got to the stage where you kind of had to retire number one. Is that a sad day? Putting it back in the stable, um, sending it out to pasture, some some sort of other horse thing. Um, but yeah, I, I really think that one's quite a special one. It's been a couple of months where I've been playing it very, very seldom. Um, but I think a guitar that grew on me a lot, I almost didn't buy it. But I'm really glad that I did. Um, so yeah, that's the story of my K-Line Ice Blue Springfield. Pretty cool guitar, I think.